up close and personal, that blend is nasty. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, loves. It's your girl, Katrina, and welcome back to my channel. I am coming back at you, back to back, back again, with a, another review for you guys. We are going to be reviewing the new Makeup Shayla and ColourPop Proceed with Caution Collection. I'm excited. I'm going to be swatching it. I'm going to be creating this look right here that I am so obsessed with. So I am so excited to show you this. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. I don't want to ramble too much because this is a review. But don't forget to subscribe. If you are not subscribed, hit the bell button so you know when I upload and at the end of this video, if you enjoyed it, then go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys. So we are going to jump into this new collaboration that Makeup Shayla has with ColourPop. This is like round two or three. She came out with a lippy birthday lip set. And now she's coming out with a new collaboration a new collection you go ahead Sheila so as you guys know I was obsessed with the perception palette this perception collection in general it's like one of my holy grails that I still use to this day so I'm excited to jump into this proceed with caution collection so this collection comes with an eyeshadow palette that goes for $12 it comes with two lippies and two lip pencils the lip pencils go for six and the lippies go for seven $7. And then it also comes with two pressed powdered blushes that go for $8 each. So here is the beautiful palette right here. I'm actually very excited to play with this. You guys, I love yellows and I feel like it is so hard for me to find a yellow that works for me. So I'm really excited to see how this swatches and also how it applies to the eye. So it is a nine pan eyeshadow, way smaller than the Perception, but that's fine because the Perception is like the holy grail. But it is a nine pan eyeshadow. It looks Looks like you have one two three four five glitter metallics and then you have your four mattes so we are going to start off by I guess I'm just gonna swatch everything because it is a smaller palette so I'm gonna swatch everything just to show you guys like what it looks like on a deeper skin tone so I'm gonna just go in order so let's just proceed is just your kind of like neutral base color wow that was just pigmented by itself okay and then we were gonna go into a maintenance Ooh. so the next one is a dead end this is one of the first metallics mm, okay Shayla. the next one is warning oh yes the next one is hazard Ooh, these um metallics are like shimmers are really like smooth. And then we have caution, which is the yellow color. Okay. Okay. And then we have drill, which is definitely like a copper metallic. Let me smoothen that out. Super pretty. That's really pretty. And then we have culture. Sorry guys, my arm's getting tired. This is the matte. Wow, these are so pigmented. They're coming off, they're swatching so like good. The last one is gloves on. Wow, she's like a shimmery black metallic. They all swatched beautifully. Like not one of them was like not pigmented at all. So I'm super excited to see how this turns out and like what it looks like and what kind of look I'm gonna achieve. But damn, that's watched amazing. Like even that yellow was kind of iffy about that yellow, but that's watched really nicely. Okay, so that was easy. Let's go ahead and jump into this look for really. So the first color I wanna go into obviously is going to be that caution color. I wanna just go straight in and see how pigmented this is because this is gonna determine how my look is going to come out. So we are gonna go into that caution color and we already primed the lids, so let's see. Doing a smaller brush just to make sure that the pigment actually gets on there because I find when I do like bigger brushes, it just like doesn't work out. So that yellow definitely is pigmented, like it's there, it's showing up. Okay, 
Yeah. So the next color that we are going to go into is this maintenance color right here. I'm going to be using a Morphe E17 brush. So I'm thinking we're going to go with some type of halo eye or some type of like cut crease. Haven't decided yet, but um, these colors are making me very excited. I don't know. I love colors like this where they're like warm there's like a pop of color so i'm kind of just going with the flow but still working with a small brush and we are going to pack that on there and work it lightly into the crease because we don't want to necessarily lose that yellow color oh wow mm. <laughs> okay Sorry, this makes me excited. Like when colors just like blend nicely together like that, like, ooh. So I'm obsessed right now. The next color that we're gonna go into is this Glove Ons colors. And I guess throughout this whole thing, we're just gonna be working with smaller brushes for the type of look I wanna do because I wanna make sure that the colors are like really concentrated instead of them just like blending all in together. So, so far, everything's performing nicely. The colors are beautiful, like pigment, that yellow paid off kind of like a different mustard yellow on my skin tone so i'm like obsessed right now so we're gonna go into the color gloves on and still using a morphe m506 brush i am obsessed with this right now this is mm, mm, mm. okay <laughs> So now we are going to move on to cutting the crease. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be cutting the crease using a Morphe M224 brush. And yeah, I'm going to exaggerate the cut crease just a little bit. So while I was sitting here trying to figure out what shades to do, I was just like, I don't know, because they're all like popping. I'm thinking though that I want to go with warning because that one is just like extra popping. So I feel like that one would make the look just look like bomb. So we are going to go with warning, which is this one right here, which is that kind of like bright coppery orange shade so we are gonna go with that one so now that we have our cut crease done we are gonna go and just clean it up a little bit more we're gonna go into the gloves on color again and just lightly take it around the cut crease and then I'm going to be taking a really, really small Morphe M158 brush and I'm going to just like reshape the cut crease and make it way sharper. Then taking some liner by the Balm Cosmetics is their Schwing liner. I'm just going to line my lash line. I'm not going to do a like wing or anything. So for lashes, I just popped on some Lily Lashes in the style of Miami. So now we're going to work on the bottom lash line. We're just going to work with those two colors again. We're going to work with the maintenance color and then we're going to work with the gloves on color. And we are going to be using a, another Morphe VM 507 brush. If you do not have this brush, get like 20 of them. They're like super helpful. And then y'all know it is my favorite thing to add a white liner to my bottom lash line. So I'm now moving on to the rest of the face. Unfortunately, she did not include an actual highlighter in this. So I'm going to be sticking to my Fenty highlighter. But of course, you can always use the highlighters from the Perception palette. But just for this video, because I've been loving this Fenty highlighter, I'm going to be using the Fenty highlighter in Mo Honey, the one that just came out. So like I mentioned earlier, there are two pressed powder blushes. So there is one called Whistle While You Work, and then the other one 
is called Construct. So I think I'm gonna go with this one, which is the Construct one. This is a little bit more nude, a little bit more my speed. So we are just going to put that on our cheeks. I'm excited to see how this is. I'm not really a blush person. If you guys have noticed that in my videos, I don't really wear blush in my videos. So, so that is what it looks like on the back of the brush. When I do, when I use blush, I like to take it over the parts where like I have highlighter. So like it kind of like dulls it down, makes it blend a little bit more. I like that one. It's like nude, it's not too much. It's just like the perfect tone of like blush. It's not like bam in your face. Like you can see it, but it's like really, really subtle. So I'm not mad at it. I like the color. Okay, so we have two lip duels. A lip duel includes a lippy and then a matching lip liner or like a complimentary lip liner that will match the lippy. So there is a speed up and then there is slow down. So I'm going to show you what speed up looks like. So you have a mauve lippy and then you have a kind of like brown lip liner so i'm gonna swatch both of them for you the mauve lippy is called speed up and then the lip liner is called bff3 just kind of like your mauve -y, kind of like a nudie pink and then the bff3 lippy is right here definitely more like flesh tone for me but there is another one. Let me do that again. So that is what the two look like together. And then this one I think is like perfect. This one is a slow down and then the lippy is called BFF4. This one is a slow down. BFF4 is yeah, way darker. Yeah, that one's like way darker. So this is what both of them look like. This one is more of a peachy nude. You know, Shayla always has her peachy nudes in there. So I actually really like this color. And we're going to go with the Slow Down and BFF4, which is this little combo right here. When I'm working with lighter colors like this, I like to go like in with my lip liner and just kind of blur the edges of that. All right, you guys. So this is the final look using the Proceed with Caution Makeup Shayla and ColourPop collaboration. So I'm just going to give my final thoughts really on the whole entire thing. So I'm um, starting out with the eyeshadow palette honestly obsessed um just for it to be a, a nine pan eyeshadow palette you kind of are limited just a little bit with the looks that you can do because there's only so many transition colors but for the colors that are included in the palette i think they are bomb they swatched beautifully and performed on the eye so well so i'm not mad at it especially because you have the perception palette which gives you a wide variety of different looks that you can do this one for the theme that she's going for i think the color scheme is like amazing the names everything it just like works out perfectly and it's only $12 so you really cannot beat that definitely would get my hands on that if you can moving on to the blushes not really a blush person but if I had to pick between the two blushes definitely would go with the construct color that I use I feel like it's the perfect tone it's pinky enough but not too bam in your face kind of like the whistle while you work color now on to the lippies the lippies I feel like are a little bit tricky I love that she did something different this time and didn't just give you like okay here's a lippy here's a lip gloss here's a satin lip it was like okay here's a lippy and here's a lip pencil to go with that lippy I think that is always great whenever I buy a lippy I always want to buy a lip liner with it so the fact that it came with one I love that she did that I wish the lippies and the lip liners the color schemes for them were a little bit different I love the peachy nude maybe if it was a tad darker of a peachy nude it would have been like perfect kind of like a lighter terracotta color for my skin tone like I made it work but first putting it on you definitely 
need a lippy with this color because it is very bright for my skin tone makeup shayla it'd probably be perfect for her but someone of my complexion trying to get away with these peachy nudes when they are lighter like tone is a little bit harder and definitely i'm glad she included that bff4 because it is dark enough but to try to make them work for me it's kind of a little bit of work but making it work i like the way it looks like i like this combination the lippy is like fine the like texture of it and the formula feels really good like on my lips it's not too drying it's not too matte where my lips are like drying out and cracking because you know like when you use a lighter lippy it'll definitely show the cracks and everything in your lips and it's not doing that so i'm not mad at it i like that she gave you two different shades of kind of like a brown lip liner because you can never go wrong with a brown lip liner so i really hope you guys enjoyed this review slash a demo i'm obsessed with the look that i was able to create everything is blending like this is amazing this is like my favorite look that i've ever done i love when i get to do reviews because the like products that people come out with the eyeshadow palettes and the schemes kind of like push me to do looks that i wouldn't do on my own so i love that she did different colors and didn't just give you your basic like neutral transition colors that everyone always includes so i'm happy she switched it up this time around like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this review don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the bell button so you know when i upload and i cannot wait to see you guys next time and congratulations makeup shayla on another bomb collaboration bye